Welcome back, Meerkat family, to Borderlands 1. Last episode, we just came to Tartarus Station, which is the Clock Traps Robot Revolution DLC. And I started a mission for Tannis. And that mission is the exact same as the Brains mission, pretty much, from the last DLC. <clears throat> So I'll save that for off camera and keep anything I might get from it. Just to show you guys. Spa versus spa. Cut power to the pip in spa. Okay. Like I said in the last day, uh, last episode, I don't really remember too much about this DLC, so. Let's say I'm going into it half blind. For a second there, I was like, is this going to be just like in uh, Borderlands 2 and a train comes by and insta kills you? I gotta go do the whole spa versus spa. First mission of the day. Yeah, I heard that, uh, Stanley recently passed away and in my opinion he's gonna always be a, a hero to us all and he will be greatly missed all right is that all I had to do I think we should all do a moment of silence for Stan Lee to pay respects. He uh, influenced a lot of people and he was a good man. He made all those superheroes and stuff so I think a moment of silence is due for, well just due in general. May rest in peace. Alright, spa versus spa. That's that's evil. I just leveled up from that. Nice. Level 42. Alright, let's use this point here. Let's see what do we got. Reduces cooldown. Killing the enemy increases your fire rate and reduces recoil for a few seconds. Increases shotgun damage and spread. Shooting an enemy reduces the cooldown of your scorpion to it. This effect can only occur every two seconds. Combat rifles. Hmm. Magazine size and recoil. Boost magazine capacity with all weapon types. This actually might come in handy. Let's go ahead and throw a point in there. I just don't want that bottom thing. Alright. Visit Pandora. Hyperion Corporation Travel Agency Bureau. No thank you. That little... That's cool. Little shelf. Alright. What's next? Well, that was all the side missions for right now, it seems. Gotta go over here. Blue socks. Well, if it isn't our little band of corporate raiders. Mr. Blake, the guy that kind of got interrupted. Good to finally get some face time with you. We at Hyperion have always valued our relationship with the treasure hunters on Pandora. So I know you'll leap at the chance to help us out, particularly since you killed our last team. In exchange for your assistance, you'll receive a ludicrously generous stipend, as well as access to the finest tech Hyperion has to offer. 
It seems the claptraps have begun to interface with everything on Pandora. Hyperion is, of course, blameless in the matter. Is it our fault that our hardware is too compatible? Still, out of the goodness of our hearts, we have developed a four-part containment plan that the boys in marketing call Operation Trap, Clap Trap, Trap. With your help, I'm certain this enterprise will be a fruitful one. Nice naming. You are dismissed. Clap Trap, 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 Clap Trap, Trap. That's kind of hard to say, tongue twister. Your opinion is important to us. This is where, I think this is where the secret is, if I remember correctly. There's a secret in this building. Or it could be in another building. Could be over there. Over here. 444. Four, four. Phase 1 is crucial. Without a successful Phase 1, there can be no Phase 2 or 3. And Phase 4 would be right out. All of Tartarus Station's bridges are up, and the power is down. Those bridges lowered in order to reach the next phases. Hyperion Corporation, building bridges to a new tomorrow. Damn, I'm good. Start operation. Did you say that when he was talking earlier? His voice or his uh, mouth wasn't moving to the words, he just stared at me. It's a beautiful day on Pandora. Well, apart from the mechanical Armageddon. Oh, Marcus. Guns, fresh guns for sale. Fresh guns. We catch them, we buy them. What is up? Okay, I was like, what is up with that damage? I don't have anything to sell at all. You gotta work your way around to get that chest. Is there any way I can jump up from this bench, maybe? No. This potted plant? Maybe. I should have least back where he was. Hmm. Looks like you're come from the roof. Oh. Operation Trap, Clap, Trap, Trap. Aha. Maybe. These boxes, because they're red, I think I should shoot them and blow them up. Because you know how games are. Anything that's a red or a barrel shape or a box usually blows up. All right, we got guns over here. Ooh, times four detonating sniper. Okay, nice. We will take that. <laughs> so it takes forever to get over a cold, don't it? As soon as you get one, you got it coughs for weeks. You buy a first aid kit. Alright. Try to move on here. At least try to. Try to complete at least this mission before the time's up on my video. Down the ramp. You can tell a place you're not allowed to go. Nice. You see like this really like no detail. Hmm. So I'm going into this half blind manner of speaking, I guess. 
wondering if you guys are like who uh, whoever's watching me play this is like playing along with me that'd be kind of cool nobody's kind of uh, I put in the uh, one of the zombie island DLC I think it was episode 6 and I put in a uh, esta what is your guys' favorite games or memories from getting games or in a game anything on the roof <laughs> Nothing. All that effort to get up there, nothing. Yeah, it wasn't that bad anyways. All that effort, huh? A couple of jumps. <coughs> I feel like I really need a cough right now, but I don't want to. I'm recording here. Hey, you. Did it just kill both those in one shot? Nice. It's a bit slow on the fire, but it does some good amount of damage. Well, he didn't die in the first shot. Or the second shot. Oh, a BA. That missed completely. Best shot in the West. Oh, oh. He got a little too close to me, bro. I, I was aiming right at his core, too, and I got no hit. When I get close. Use the masher. They're ganging up on me, man. Come on. You see the million bullets flying at me. If that guy does more damage than the rest of them. The brutes. Yeah, only thing bad about this sniper rifle, very slow fire rate, and the reload speed is really slow. Still better than that one machine gun, the Glorious Havoc. Good machine gun though, it just, his problem was, very slow reload time. There's a lot of brutes. Why do they just keep coming, don't they? Why do they just keep coming? I'm gonna bring out the turret. Alright, turret. Help me out here. Set somebody on fire. Well, he just evaporated. I wonder if the electricity mod for my turret would be better for this. Not a bad sniper though. As long as you're not getting bum rushed. You get bum rushed, it's, it's not as effective. But good damage overall. So if you got some good distance between you and the enemy, it's worth it. Yeah, I should have done this DLC first, only because it was the first DLC, not less Miss uh, Moxie's Underdome was. But it was close to Halloween, so I wanted to do the zombie one. It just made sense. But it did level me up pretty good. So I'm higher level, of course. But at the same time, makes this uh, the beginning of this DLC too low level. Well, it's not extremely bad, but it's noticeable. Alright. Sanders Gorge. Yeah, I noticed in my... I know some of my videos lately, since last week even, I have barely gotten any views, it's like my views just completely died. 
Uh, my volcano. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That's what I was using. I'll keep it just because. This thing is not very effective, but it did shoot rockets. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Is this one of the caves like that one? Is this going to be a good farming spot for EXP and loot? Actually, it looks, well, it's a little different than the other cave, the uh, Crystal Shot Cave. But it still got some worms. Hey, you're supposed to be right next to me, bro. These even has a flat trap brain or, you know, control devices on their heads. Clock traps take over everything. Oh, you know that hurt. It's probably best a better idea to have this out since close quarters. Shotgun and the masher. Am I even going the right way? Because we got two different paths here. And I don't want to miss any loot. We got soldiers. There's a beef beef eater. Nice. Oh, chrome dome. Oh, he took that like a champ. Yeah, I don't think the loot's gonna be that great. For a while. Notice I haven't gotten a legendary in a little while. Is this that other path that split off earlier? It goes underneath the other path? I have a feeling this place is going to be confusing. What do you guys think? Big expensive cave. Yep, aim at the chrome dome. He made me miss my shot, dude. Jump around. Oh, that was a amazing shot there. 19,000 cross of contact. No. Come on, I want to see legendaries. I want to see something new. Something new and hopefully good. Something I can use. And not this stuff. E. Let's say white items are only should be reserved for the beginning of the game. I mean, like the very beginning. Until at least you take out nine toes or. Well, maybe, no, not just nine toes. Let's say somewhere halfway through the, the Firestone part. But that doesn't happen. Because who uses the white items at this point? Yeah, this place is going to be real confusing. <coughs> oh, yeah. So let's head here. This, uh, am I, oh, yep, that was the split to the cave area at the beginning where it forks off. So, I guess that's cool. So, the beginning part of this cave is a maze, twisty and windy. Then, you got to make your way to that base. Okay, I shot the chrome though. They're not, they're not brain control devices, they're chrome domes. Is this a dead end? No, no. There is a continuation to this cave. And I'm not actually seeing how much EXP those are giving me. I'm still picking up. Oh, yeah, this is for Tannis. The parts. Hmm. I guess I can be collecting that while I'm doing this mission. Let's see if we can get anywhere with it. This is how this 
cave is laid out. It's pretty uh, windy. More like a normal cave because at the beginning of the game, in the vanilla game, there was a. Uh, like most of the caves always had the same look, they just changed around the bushes and the details. But they were always pretty much the same. Is he exploded? Yeah, he is. He explodes. You can say that like his hands look like explosive barrels. Wow. Literally. Two chests down and all white stuff. I feel ripped off. Refund. I can't get a refund on this game. I've had this game for many years now. Maybe not on the PC version, I guess. The first one I ever owned on the Borderlands 1 is on PlayStation 3. Now I own it on pretty much everything. Xbox 360, PS3. I even got like the triple pack with all the DLCs on the Xbox 360 plus I got the handsome collection on the PS4 they should have added the first game on there on the PS4 and Xbox One I think that would have been better you know get all the games in one but I do have the triple pack for the Xbox 360 which comes with literally everything even the Headhunter DLCs in Borderlands 2 which I think only got one on Borderlands 2 on the PC. This goes the wrong way. Well, it looks like we'll be spending this whole episode in this cave. Hopefully, we can finish this mission before it gets. drags out too long. You know? If I remember correctly, this place was like. pretty annoying because it's so huge and windy and. Well, it's not bad. It's better. It's better to see this than it is to see that same design cave over and over again that we saw at the beginning of the game. There was no caves in the Zombie Island DLC. I don't think. Yeah, there was like those little cave-like things that you walk through to get to another area, but it wasn't like this, like a full-on cave. Is this the right way? Oh. Yeah, I have already been here. Alright. Huge question mark. Nice. Thanks for that. So it basically hides the direction you need to go. Maybe you follow the arrows? But I went, I just came from that way and there was nothing there. Maybe they are tricked too. <clears throat> Let me check that. Did I jump down from here? I'm getting lost, guys. Lost. That one TV show about the airplane crash. I tried watching it. It, was, it started out okay, and then it got kind of interesting, and then it went slow. And I lost interest. Parts of it was okay, though. Yeah, I don't mind slow episodes in a you know show or whatever, but it can't just be a, like half a season be slow. You know that's just nothing good. We gotta keep the attention span, you know? Not like my videos. Even though I try. Can we get him? Yeah. And they drop junk. Lots and lots of junk. Two thousand dollars. Haha. Called it. See, literally everything in the DLC is mind controlled except for the NPCs in town. They're all mind controlled with the chrome domes. 
do a red chest. I'll get that red chest. What is this? Shattering machine gun. Level 28, really? Does it look like I'm level 28, man? No. Ultimate failure. There better be a legendary in here. Something I haven't seen yet. Or not. There's a purple, though. Shot contact. 19,000. Supposed to bouncy Betty. That said bouncy Betty. That was a bouncy. I'm going to take the two 19s, but I will drop them if. Oh, what's that doing? Where did all these dudes come from? I just killed them off earlier. Did they respawn that quick? Guess so. <coughs> I vaguely remember this place, but it's been a while, so just hope I can find my way through here. I hope so. I think I'm kind of going the right way, maybe. I'm getting some vague remembering here. this thing with more magazine size. It's only got three rounds. It seems to run out real fast. It only takes zero damage, you see that? I shot him and it was zero damage. Kind of reminds me of the Crimson Lance Soldier. That certain parts of are armor. Makes them invisible. That sniper rifle, man. I ain't really doing it for me right now. So much better. You have to get close, but it's better. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, the uh, the next video I'll be uploading will be the next Terraria video, but I'm gonna do it in like most YouTubers do. I'm just going to make a compilation. Of all my Moon Lord fights until I actually defeat him. And uh, after that, I'll probably I'll see if there's anything else I can do. I know there's some more stuff to do in the game, but I'll probably starting uh, would be starting. What is it called? Uh, Starbound. So that's a fun game as well, except for that one boss fight, Azronauts. Right, that was the only boss fight in the game I had this, so much trouble with. I don't know why. She was tough. But yeah, I will do that game, but I will not give up on uh, Traria because there's other stuff to do, like my Halloween special I did. Where I open up a bunch of packages, so I'm gonna do the same thing for Christmas. So I'll play it every day until I get a whole bunch of packages built up. Just farm enemies. So I can do a special on there. I know you get a lot better items when it comes to the Christmas presents, you actually get weapons and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, that uh, you actually get uh, weapons. I'm not sure if you get a tool or not, like a pickaxe or something. But even if I did, it wouldn't be very handy for me. Always nice to get resupply. Extra experience. That would be nice to get some extra level ups. Some of them, some of them levels. Am I even heading in the right? Yes. I'm actually heading in the right direction, but does it mean anything? I think there's some turrets up here. So having this will be useful. It's underneath in there. Look, there's a tunnel right here. Hey, you. Oh, 
how glowing that thing's glowing like crazy. So much light, I'm blinded. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's, uh, it's cold to him. Destroy my channel, that's what I'm thinking. People were like, eh, yeah, mouth noises. I was like, I'm sorry guys. Can't help it. One shot, one kill. No one shot, no one kill. Is that a kamikaze? Which is a derogatory term nowadays, I would say. Like in America, they call the uh, Inuit people in Alaska, not Nora, Eskimos, which is something they don't like. They don't say these, these those kind of things. On your bow. That shit like being a. High caliber bullet, or high caliber bullet, if I can talk correctly. Should have went right through that chrome dome. This is made out of glass. I remember when I first did this, I because I never play, uh, beat the deal, uh, the uh, main storyline. I came here lower level. This place was a challenge. This whole area was. I don't feel he, he, that threatened right now. I'm level 42, you know. I know the the enemies will scale to your level, but only to a certain point in the first playthrough. I think in the second playthrough they always scale to your level. Not less I'm wrong, because I've never been met, never did the second playthrough in this game, because you have to actually beat it. But what I've heard, I think they scale. But just don't take my word for it. Just to be safe. They might not. I know if you're in the uh, Borderlands 2, you hit the uh, third playthrough. If you get the ultimate Volt Hunter mode. Or true, or, yeah, it's ultimate. And, uh, yeah, every enemy always scales up to your level in the third playthrough. I never beat the third playthrough in the second game. I thought it was just way too bullet spongy takes so long to take anything down I could at least balance the game this you know so it seems more fair when it came to that I know they did it for a challenge but there's a certain limit to a challenge and just being too bullet spongy it's extreme and that went right through you dude Give me that part. I need to collect many of those parts. Oh, he's a DA. Oh, it was. That's all you drop is a white. Really? You, you lame. What old friends, huh? You bring back what's her name, the blonde woman? I got her got killed. I think I already got all those. Actually I need to sell stuff real quick so I can empty out any of them. Like all this stuff. There we go. <laughs> Boy, the constant itching in my throat is extreme. <clears throat> it's like to slow down the itching so I don't cough, I gotta constantly clear my throat. I hate colds. Just hate being sick, of, you know, in general. It's awful. Not, uh, that goes for everybody, I know that. Nobody wants to be sick.
You put all that up there to explore, but there's nothing up there except ammo boxes. Not very exciting. Oh, is this the old friends that want to play? Who is it going to be? Claptrap, unite. Is that Stalin? I don't remember who this is. I'm back. Wait, I'm back. Damn it. Is that General Knox? Was it? Okay, General Knox DLC I thought was the third DLC. Why is he... Was this the last DLC? Okay. I could have swore that this was like... At the beginning of the DLC line. Was that wrong? It's too late now, I guess. Well, I thought DLC, or the uh, General Knox DLC was literally the last DLC release. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, so you know, in the comments below. But I thought this literally was the last DLC. The General Knox. Not unless it was the first? I'm confused. Maybe I just didn't know my Borderlands history as well as I thought it Because why would he say he's back? Because I think he was the final boss in the General Knox DLC. Okay. Well, yeah, if you guys watch this and you, you know the actual order of the DLCs released in, on Borderlands 1, let me know in the comments, you know. Because I seriously, because at the end of the main storyline of Borderlands, Claptrap was turned evil by the satellite, the Hyperion satellite. Therefore, insinuating that it was the first DLC. Was I completely wrong on that assumption? I guess so. Oh well. We're still having fun though, that's what, that's what counts. One more lightning. He's hitting me a lightning shot. This destroys your shields faster than normal. No scope. Trying to get a no scope is not easy. Not in this game. It should hurt him too because of the explosion with the clock trap. Oh, no scope headshot. I'm gonna try and get the final shot with a no scope headshot. Dude? I really suck. That's why I don't play Call of Duty. Ow. Calm it down, dude. Calm it down with the electricity. Gonna get my shield up. I'm gonna try to get that no, no scope headshot. Wow, this thing takes forever to recharge. Three shots, nothing. Got him. Yeah, I think this is the last DLC. It kind of makes sense now. Oh well, I got my 
stories wrong on this, so we're not playing them in order. Oh well, we're still having fun though. I guess that's what matters. Now we know we got the real General Knox to fight later on. Oh well. Yeah, if you guys want to uh, comment in the uh, put in the comments below what order this was actually in, like in the uh, the order of release for the DLCs, because you know apparently I don't know. I got I got it all wrong. Because the order that I thought it was in was, you know, the general or uh, the Zombie Island Dr. Ned. After that was the uh, this DLC. Then after that was the General Knox DLC. <coughs> Apparently I was 100% wrong. There's a lot of these shields and class spots. I'd like to see something new. Like a gun. But not white guns like usual. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad shotgun if it was 380 something times something, but this has no times anything on it. Holy poop. You gonna give me something good? No? I'll look through them in just a second. 12 thou, 48 thou, 17 thou, 23. Wow, I just got a frame drop, extreme frame drop. Only 16,000 for a purple. Talk about a ripoff, right? <coughs> 26 for Crimson Cobra. With only 12 rounds. That kind of sucks. Wow, always shields and grenade, uh, or grenade mods and shields. Whoa. <coughs> Damn, sorry. $92,000. Impenetrable hazmat. That's a pretty beefy shield. I'm actually putting that on. That seems actually quite worth it. Fast recharge. Desert shotgun. 85 times 9, it's not as good as this one though. 66,000, it's worth selling. Outstanding! You managed to make possible what my team thought impossible. Way to capitalize on lowered expectations. Head back here so we can execute phase 2 of Operation Trap, 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 Trap. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. <coughs> My throat's really itchy, so it feels like I'm going to constantly cough. Or I need to seriously cough and get rid of the itchiness. I don't want to, do not want to do it on the, uh, on my video. I'm already coughing enough as it is. So we took out, uh, the reanimated version of General Knox. Spoilers if you never did the General Knox DLC. And that's apparently him with the <coughs> Chrome Dome. His mind control device. <coughs> wow. My throat just won't stop. It's going to it's it's determined to destroy my video. Alright guys. If you'd like to become part of the Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button and join today and let's get this family growing. And if you like my commentary, besides the coughing and the constant itching throat, hit that like button to show you support and help me out. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. I upload daily except for Sundays. And I'll see you guys later. 
Have a good day. Bye-bye.